What happens when you put more people than ever before in a room to review music? What happens when you take musical chairs and make it a brand new show you never thought you needed? Are you standing? Are you seated? Niggas ain't been straight back to it, so they won't understand what it means to be straight back to it. That track's the hardest track I've heard so far on that tape. Hundred. Boom, boom. Yo, madness. We're gonna go through the new Central C mixtape song by song with more music heads in a room than ever before. Some familiar faces, some new. They're gonna turn up to each song we play as we run through the track list. However, just like musical chairs, if you're not feeling the song, you sit down as soon as you can. But if you're feeling it, you're gonna stay stood up. And of course, myself and Bisola would then ask the music heads to break down why they decided to sit or to stand. Everyone, welcome to Project Sit and Stand. We're now going to get started from the first track of 23 and it's entitled Kibi. I don't say much but I hear everything that is said It don't go over my head Success is the best revenge, no stress, I still ain't missed <laughs> We could have got round there, put it on social media and ruined his cred Could have grabbed that bad, put two in his head but I let God do it instead They done man wrong, where are they now? Nowhere to be seen Where they at? The power's strong, where am I now? I've been in the charts for 18 weeks My bro's oh, yeah, 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 been like a beep Bro, I know it's long time no see but I'm here whenever you need Sat in a band or watching snap weren't good for my mental health The things that I see on a daily basis be on a daily melt for real. Why the hell would I dwell on the past when I made profit off the pain I felt? How the fuck these guys gonna date these girls when they can't even pay for themselves? So the aim of the game is this The guys are gonna stand if they like the song And if they don't like it, they're gonna sit Hence the name Project S and S So guys, are you standing or are you seated? There was a lot of dodgy knees yeah. in that one. <laughs> it was like, yeah. Yeah. We definitely don't have stallions in this building. <laughs> I want to go over to Billy quickly, yeah? Okay, because Billy. Um, when the song was playing, I've never seen someone look so angry in my life. Um, <laughs> Billy, talk to me. What's going on? Nah, I wasn't angry. I just wasn't, it just wasn't really moving me still. You know, it's, I, I like what he was saying, but the flow was just kind of tired as well. And it's like, that for that to be the first song on the tape, like, intros are mental and made me want to hear more. When I heard that, like, I didn't want to hear more. I feel like people just want to hear better instruments on the track. Just want to hear better different sounds. I want to hear tambourine. I want to hear violin. Bro, the song is hard. Listen, there's a reason why that pe the team bought out that song as one of the like, singles of the, of the album. It's a very big song. I've been in the track for like, hey, listen, when I heard that, Alhamdulillah, I wanted to go back to being a Muslim, bro. That's a big tune. No cap. Man said, I know you don't like when I say this. Alhamdulillah. I'm going to smash your boy. That tune was very good for me. I liked it. I liked what he was saying. Been in the charts for like 18 weeks. And then the whole, like, him adding the whole little, I don't want to call it a sample, but the whole little skit, I'd say, from Khabib, it was moving for me, innit? Like, I'm not a Muslim, but it was it was very moving to hear someone that passionate about something. And Central C is also passionate about what he's doing in the charts and what he's doing for music in general. Personally, I need, like, in the intro, I need ele um, elevation, and I feel like it was just one tempo. There wasn't no... There was no, there was no build up, no nothing's intro. What's the one thing that you really wanted? Is it an instrument? I wanted like an intro, yeah. It's meant to be like elevation, like you're meant to start like. Elevation. No, it doesn't elevate. Lyrically, it doesn't really elevate. Like, See, lyrically, yeah. Look, he's talking about being in the charts for 18 weeks. This is his second tape. Yeah, it's even just gone number one. Yeah, he's been in the charts 18 weeks. He's talking about man paying him homage and whatnot. Like he's, he blew up into what 2021, 20, 2022. The guy's done a lot in this short space of time. Like, I rate it, and it's a good little. He's telling the people what's been going on. I feel it. So Amazing. If that's how people are feeling on the very first song, we got a whole mixtape to get through. So it's interesting. I think it's a mixed bag at the moment. Some sat, some seated, and all the rest of it. But um, I think it's only right that we get into the track number two. Let's go. Let's get into track number two. Number two. Done a graveyard shift last night. Woke up today and got straight back to it. Took, took me at all, no problem. I got on my grind, got straight back to it. Had to handle the game. Bro got straight back to it. They free my bro, got straight back to it. Bro, bro, fresh home, got straight back to it. Done a graveyard shift last night. Woke up today and got straight back to it. Took, took me at all, no problem. I got on my grind, got straight back to it. Had to handle the call in the middle of G and I put down my phone, got straight back to it. They free my bro, got straight back to it. Bro, bro, fresh home, got straight back to it. Look, we all go through hard times, that's why it's live yours and it's not live mine. You gotta turn up, sometimes live life. You gotta work hard or you're not gonna shine. Told the promoter I'm not performing if I can't come with all of the guys. I got the bull right now, it's my time. But I told bro, bro, go long, go wide. Are you stood or are you seated for that song? Straight back to it, yeah. Ooh. Okay, wait, hold on, Nano. This should have been the intro. Like, hands down. Like, catchy, it's catchy. Like, it has a, a hook. Like, it, 
it's it's energy like it's giving what needs to be given literally so i think this should be the intro he but gave the game is that on period it's on, on period, period. <laughs> <laughs> um i guess we got to um, i want to speak well. to you right now yeah you're sat down for this you weren't feeling it yeah like <sighs> I feel like it was just, yeah, lazy writing. Like, it was just like straight back to it, straight back to it, straight back to it. Like, I don't know, like it wasn't, yeah, it just got a bit boring. He said he had to answer a call in the middle of cheating. In the middle was of that cheating. Not, is that lazy? I, I would like, never. I don't know. I would like, never. I don't know. Like, it just got a bit boring and repetitive. I've got a question. All right, does anyone on your side disagree with that statement? I'm going to come over here. All of the people that sat down... There was a couple of people that sat down. When it first came on, the call and response, the da -da -da -da, straight back to it, you lot were doing that. So I don't know why you lot are sat now. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like... I feel like that's what makes the track the track. It's a people ambience track. Like Sweeney was talking about call and response, yeah? Have you ever heard like a nursery rhyme? Like when people say "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star," do not people not sing along? Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. no, no. well, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't say that when certain man in the drill scene. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna say no names. So are doing mm -hmm. certain samples and say no. Why are you shining like me though? We all know. We all know. Yeah. We all know. And the thing is, no, we all know. We all know. We all know. That don't mean. That don't mean we. That don't mean we have to rate this though. That don't mean we have to rate this song though. Just because other people are shit. No, 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 no. I'm not saying the shit. I'm just saying certain, certain. TikTok songs are very verse um nursery rhymes, isn't it? This ain't it. <laughs> I can tell deliver a room. <laughs> Come in, I seem ungrateful, God, but I don't wanna be here. I got some things to get off my chest, but maybe it's best I keep it a secret. 31st December, the first of Jan, same shit, I don't care about the new year. New house somewhere that ain't poverty driven, it's mad in the pit. Yo, serve the pregnant lady. Oh, 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 the best song gonna take. The best song gonna take. Oh, no, 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 Gotta get rid of bad vibes, anti-clockwise, gotta burn the sage uh, I say it with chest, but I know some things locked in, I prefer not to say it I fucked up, I'm admitting it I got no ego, I got no shame, I swallow my pride and say that I'm missing it Creep, creep, creep in a changing room at school and teeth from the kids that are privileged uh, Stolen clothes with a rip in it, also a stolen phone, no sim in it no. Yeah. Oh, gee, man, this is the best song, this one oh, Freedom of speech, I guess, but they ain't even got no peace Got free Wi-Fi, they ain't got 4G uh, I wouldn't be able to do what I do if it weren't for the man before me I show respect where it's true, where would I be if I never met YB? Gigs Storms, Huss, Dave, a couple of names, even DBE uh, My mum lost faith in a song Okay, so that's the third track on the mixtape It's a mixtape, not an album It's a mixtape, not sorry. an album Sorry, Sometimes sorry. I get confused, it's alright that one's tracked um, and titled Ungrateful. Correct. So, people inside, what are we saying? Are we seated or are we standing? Oh, wow. What? Whoa. Do you know what it is, yeah? The song is Ungrateful. Camera, come follow me. This is an ungrateful man because what more do you want from it? This is an ungrateful man because what more do you want from it? Talk to me, talk to me. Talk to me. I swear, it looks like a publicity song, I swear to God it's not. I promise you, I just don't understand what differentiates this song from the other songs you lot heard before. I don't get why everyone, because I don't get what's different. For me, I don't get, I don't get what's different. I don't get what's different. I think it's, I think it's an okay song. I don't, think, I don't get what's different to the other songs I heard before. So if it's not different, why do you like them and not this? I don't get why everyone is standing. I don't get why everyone, because everyone, cause everyone, okay, wait, is, everyone is so excited. Every, I don't get, I don't get why everyone's so excited. I don't get it. Okay, we want to come to this side. We want to come to this side real quick. And I like the fact that we've got an array of voices from across the country. You're from Burns, my brother. I know, no, 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 nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, because I think it's good to have different perspectives. Um, what did you make of that song, and why are you standing? Um, I'm standing because, oh, okay. Um, he, he, he gave us variation in that tune, you know, uh, a different flow. He said variations. Uh, you see, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, he was paying homage to, you know, the, the people before him. That could have that could have been an intro more than the first two. Like for me, for me, it could have been it could have been like I was I was feeling the second track for like the first 30 seconds and then it got a bit nursery rhyme ish. Like that one was like, now I'm ready. To take, now I'm ready for it. All right. I think we're gonna hear the term nursery rhyme yeah. quite a few times. I'm sorry, I might take your job, yeah, because I'm Go talking on. to Mimi even though she stood up. This is the best track of the tape still. Hands down. We're only three tracks in, so does it not get better than this? Facts, I'm being honest. Oh. So <laughs> I just I keep hearing the same thing, variations. 
Was there no variations in the other songs before? No. That's cap. No. Niggas, hey, let me tell you something. Everyone is saying, everyone here but white bees. The only guy, you've never seen them niggas before. <laughs> niggas ain't been, <laughs> niggas, wait, let me, let me talk. Let me talk. <laughs> niggas, <laughs> hey, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? <laughs> Look, you lot, you lot feel like you can resonate with this song more, which is fine. Niggas ain't been straight back to it, so they won't understand what it means to be straight back to it. I, I'm in a room full of followers. It's so disgusting. Anyway, I don't want to talk there. I don't even want to talk. <laughs> everyone boo this man. <laughs> just to just to clarify further, Ungrateful was a good song, but the only reason why I sat down is because I didn't understand why people were sitting down so swiftly for the songs that came on prior, but were so firmly stood up for Ungrateful. I didn't see what differentiated those two songs, like the other songs that I heard before. So in my head, I was thinking, how could all of you not sit down, but I'm meant to sit down with you. I'm meant to stand up with you for Ungrateful, but sit down when you lot sit down for the other songs that can be, for example. Yo. She too intrusive. She wanna know all of my business. Where am I going and what am I doing? Lond London City, I grew in. Screw face, couple who can't stop screwing. We, 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 we brought two to it, my doggy doing. We ain't arguing, a joke keeps swinging. She can't stop chewing. That's something I don't want nothing to do with. Just juice, spill some fluid. Test my gangster, don't be stupid. I like you putting it in the Yeah, I'm not hearing a lot of wonder in it. So we just heard Bunda. Great song. Great song. Um, the question is are we stood or we sat down for that track? <laughs> um, so you guys don't like Bunda? No one likes Bunda. Nobody likes Bunda. Could never be me. Like the song's just nothing. It's just nothing special to me. I feel like it's more or less like the same of what you're gonna really hear anywhere else to me. And like listening to the beat, because I pay attention to the beat more just from what I do. Um, it's just like it's just nothing special. I Even producer, sounds like to guy. me. Yeah, I'm a producer. Being humble. <laughs> Big up management. <laughs> But yeah, it just it just doesn't excite me at all. It's just more or less like the same-ish. That's how I feel at least. So if you had that beat or if Central C and his team came to you, what would you do different? I'd reckon I'd make it something a bit more fast paced. Cause I mean, the song's called Bunda. Yeah, literally, literally. So you want it, you want to be able to dance to it. You want girls to shake their Bunda to it. Come so on. That's what you want to do. That's, that's what you want to do with it. Yeah, man. As much as I'm the presenter here and I have to be impartial, give Jay Huss his flowers. All I'm gonna say is give Jay Huss his flowers because he really turned Bundesliga into a yeah. Come on, I'm um, right. Who stood and hasn't spoken so far? My guy over here, number one, number one. All right, you're stood. Um, that means you like the track. Talk to me. What did you make of Central C's Bunda? What did you make of Central C's Bunda? Bunda. Bunda. Wait. <laughs> that is a howler. My guy over here, number one. That track is called Bunda. What did you make of it? I actually, I actually liked the production more on this one compared to some other ones. Um, in terms of like the melody in the background, um, it just had a nice flow to it. I think uh, it's a catchy title. People are going to gravitate towards it. He's got some some little little hooks and little things that he puts in there. They might seem cheesy or you know what I mean, but uh, it was a good song. <laughs> Suck my soul, I lost my breath, she got me breathing heavily. Toxic relationship, my queen, but me and the T got chemistry. Told her that I'm a Gemini, now she on Google checking the compatibility. She wanna see if I got the agility, she wanna see if I got the ability. My trigger finger fidgety, my trigger finger fidgeting. I feel like I need amphetamine. We had a party ton of the MDMA and ketamine. My bro get a box and step on a gang, make money off. Guys, are we seated or are we standing? And seeing as that was our first reload, it only makes yes. sense to go to the man himself, Mr. Reload it in the building. Reload it, reload it, reload it. All right. Okay, <laughs> shout Scully in the back. Um, you were actually the in individual that initiated the reload inside the building. What is it about that song that you really vibe with? Um, personally, yeah, I like, um, I feel like that's what Bunda should have been. Because if you're gonna make a song called Bunda, I feel like that should, I feel like it has a bounce. I feel like it has like, I feel like girls could, girls am I right? Yeah. Uh, Purr. Just make it so, just make it so, you know what I mean, guy. I know that's right. <laughs> yeah. Purr. Pick me. <laughs> I like it. Can I ask a question as well, really quickly? Obviously, yeah. he's talking about retail therapy. He's got a very interesting kind of situation with Trapstar. What do people make about Central C's kind of like 
conversion into clothing and fashion as well as the music. All right, um, I'm going to come to Silla because he is a very drippy guy right now. Come on, Silla, talk to me. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. But no, I, li I like what Sench is doing with the fashion team because that's hip hop, innit? Like, it's not just about the music, it's about the clothes as well, what you're wearing, kind of like how you present yourself and whatnot. You know what I mean? And he does that right, man. Large up to the horoscope babes out there. Man's talking about the Gemini compatibility. Um, what's your star sign, Basola? I am actually a Gemini slash Cancer. Oh, you are? I'm, I'm, I'm firstly, bitch, yeah, is I'm on the cast. <laughs> We're not gonna sorry, get I'm into. Working, I'm working. I'm sorry. I'm we're not gonna yeah, get into horoscope <laughs> Twitter, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna go into the next song on this tape, and that song has many, many features from across Europe. It does. And this one is do called. Know, do you know the features though? Italia spaghetti mafia. Sorry. Right. This one is called Eurovision. Spin it, DJ. I come straight from Italy, where your body dissolving assy. My girl is hot like Takis, no body. I'm rich, no lucky. But it's not my time. I'm rich in all my hops. When they bought me from my city, I'm just trying to do my job. Pull up a suit to block or trapping. Lock up, what's up with the And the question is, are we stood or are we sat down for that last track? I really quickly, I have to come over here. No way. I have to come over here. Yeah. I have to applause. come over here. Sorry, what's your number? Number three was getting so lit, she was doing all the moves. I said, Jesus Christ, Lord of mercy. So, that is the most movement we've seen from the tape so far. What is it that made you want to just vibe out to that song? I think it's because I haven't heard something like that before. So that's what's making me like bump to it, make me like, yeah, make me want to dance. And plus I feel like we haven't seen a link up like that in the UK before. That's not the truth. Wait, sorry, sorry, wait, sorry, wait, sorry. No, wait, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Wait, sorry. So Ms. Ola, you go to Relic, I'm going to let her land yeah. and we're going to come straight but, to you. No, sorry, I'm defending Relic We're right going to come I'm straight sorry. to you. So wait, hold on, hold on, guys. Let's, let's let her land, let's let her land. So you said you have never seen a link up like that before. Fun. We haven't seen a link up with so many men from different countries like that before. I keep seeing people saying how it's so original because he had, oh, you have people from Italy and blah, blah, blah. The man who should not be named, that cannot be named, has done it before. I can't lie. Yeah, man from Australia, India, all these other places on, on, the, on the remix. We're not going to say who it is. We all know. If you don't know, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, the track for me, uh, I don't really care about the European artists, isn't it? That's why, it's not that's why I sat down. So, And the instrumental weren't all that, so I was just like, I'm good. I'm, I can skip it, it's calm. Okay. Obviously, I get I get why I did the song in it, because it makes sense that it expands like, his fan base and that. When you see the numbers the tape did in different countries as well, like, it made sense why he did it. But me personally, if I don't know what you're saying, I can't listen to you. It's literally like that. Okay, like, can I, can I um, test it? One sec, one sec, I've got a question. Do you only listen to music in English? Yes. What else? Well, and look at me like I'm the mad one. And this is why. <laughs> okay, let me say. Let me say something here. Yeah? This is why UK's two main character. We are so selfish. It's, it's all about us. You know, people from France, it, Italy, Amsterdam are listening to our music here. Yeah? So no. A man said Brexit means tell the French artists to make music for French people. This is why Brexit happened, guys. This is why Brexit happened. Because yes. so people like you yeah. are I so voted, I voted, I voted Brexit, man. <laughs> I voted Brexit. Because of this song. No, wait, <laughs> I feel like it's a London mentality that it's always about us, like our town, our city. He's reaching an international reach with um, Italy, France, Spain, and then man. Cool. And He's doing a track with them rather than doing a remix at certain random. Oh, you know, like that was the one that got the most heated. Billy's got a lot to say. Mimi's got a lot to say as you well. You know, it's interesting. I saw a lot of people dancing, but a lot of people sat down. So that's like, <laughs> no, of course, different music brings out like, different emotions. But I'm just shocked. That's all. Okay, we need to move on swiftly to the next track of the tape. And we are heading over to the track entitled Culture. I like this one, I like this one. 
They already know I can rap, the man them trap, I can do that too. I, I picked up the phone, I heard some terrible news that I'm hearing your move. They made some change, I forgot their views. I made some change and picked up the young G's, took them shopping and caught them shoes. This hoe forgot she got fucked, you need a reminder, you're not brand new. I should've kicked that one to the curb, there and them, but I'm not that rude. Had, had some hoes back when I was broke, they wanna come home, but I got no room. So many years I slept on the sofa, they don't know the All right, guys, that was an interesting reaction so far, but once again, we wanna know if you were wrong. Whoa. I didn't even finish even the question. sentence. <laughs> you know what? For one second, we're just gonna forget everyone else. Yeah. Fizz, I beg you go chat to her yeah, real quick. And what's if going you are seated or standing, let's, let's right talk, now while we chat I'm gonna sit next to you. What's, yeah. what's going on, babe? You know, you know the song is shit when everyone started stop listening. Like everyone was doing a conference talk while the song was playing because it was that dead and boring. Dead it, throw it in Damn. the bin. Damn. Damn. You disagree with that quite a bit. Yeah, like. I can't lie, okay, when Cold Shoulder came out, yeah, I can't lie, when the visuals dropped with it, everyone was banging it, no? Was you something not banging it? Mm. Wow, wow. Okay, I banged it and I slapped it. I feel like he's very good at being like reflective and doing like a retrospect type of thing, innit? So I feel... No, but you, but you know what though, but him, no, 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 but listen though, listen though, I feel like, no, 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 but I feel like, I feel like every project here should have that kind of track in the middle, like he put it right in the middle, like track seven, track eight, and it works there, do you know what I'm saying? It's nothing too special, it's not a standout, but it makes sense there, innit? It makes sense in where he put it, so I fuck with I love Chris Fritch. I like when your face is beat, uh -huh. but I like when your makeup up. All right. Tight dress enticing me, uh -huh. but I wanna see you take it off. All right. You sent me a text, I didn't respond, my bad, I just made this song. Uh -huh. I know I you're not in the mood, you ain't gonna say what's wrong. I like it, I like it, I decided it's eight Send me the ID and tell me come through, you ain't gonna wait much longer. You guys know the concept by now, you know the pattern. So you know what I'm about to ask you, are you stood or are you seated for misses? Sorry guys, no, all right, I'm so sorry. I'm meant to be impartial. They hate women. He has better um, girl songs. Obsessed With You is better than this. That's a girl song. And this song is very much, it's a skip. Like at first, first time I listened to this um, um, tape, I said, like, oh, you know, I like this song. Second time, I'm like, mm, it's not all that. It's not. I'm gonna, if I'm, the whole vibe is, if I'm, I won't cheat to the song. I won't cheat to the song. I won't listen to it when I'm riding with my man. I can't. What, what made you go with that verse? What made you go with that verse? What I will say, what I will say is, um, none of these guys sat down like, you don't even know what to play for gal in your car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and the girls agree, like, you, you lot don't know what we want to hear in a car. So when a guy that we can mutually listen to, when a guy we can mutually listen to drops a song like this, it's best you don't hate on it because you have no clue. And, and you lot were talking about variants. You lot wanted variety and all of these stuff. Like, here is the variant. <laughs> I feel like he did his job. I don't know why guys were all sat down there like, oh, this is not for me. Yeah, it's not for you. You don't have a, <laughs> you feel me? I just feel like it's one of them tunes that you put in there because you have to put a gal tune in there. Exactly. Yeah, you know yeah. the ones, that's what it sounds like. I feel like if he really wanted to go in that lane of like, you know, like Valentine's, love, all of that, Young Bane Ran is the perfect example because he, he just hits every point that a perfect rap love song does. But I feel like, I feel like the song is still good. I just feel like sonically, he could have used a different like production method. I feel like it should have just been a bit slower, a bit more melodic. I don't know, it just, it was missing, it was missing something in the production, but I think the song is still good. Well, I just think this song's kind of childish still. Like the flow was just- You're not romantic. Yeah. Hey, Billy, Billy's not romantic. No. Yeah, it's my child, it's just like a Disney Channel, Nickelodeon flow, you get me, like, bro. El Centro, he does that a lot, man. He does that little, that, that childish flow. And don't get serious, it works for his, for his um, demographic. The demographic he appeals to, it works. They're going to love that kind of flow. But me personally, I can't listen to that shit, man. Like, I will never get in a car and tell my bridge in your play Centro C misses ever, ever in my life. I feel like this is like a debut tape for the European lots. It's very dumbed down. It's very much slow pace 
We're not you Okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna come to Camzo for the Why final point really that? quickly. Camzo. The final point. I'm hearing, I'm hearing the maddest stuff. I'm hearing this song is childish from a child. I'm hearing this song is European for a European. I don't know what, I'm, what am I, what am I hearing right now? And listen, you know what? The only reason, the, the reason why I'm standing up right now is because everybody that stood up before talking about this song is part of a story or that I'm, that he's going through right now. It's Mrs. Not a story in his life. He's talking about he's in that song. He's talking about what he would give to his missus. Like that Calm down. That, that's boring now. Played out. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. In that, uh, everyone was asking about a story. In this song, he's talking about what he would give to his missus. And this is an example of diversity. But us black people are not. I'm never happy. Wait, wait, wait. Why did my race get brought into it? My last man. Man, he's flying, tired. Man, I need sleep, I'm tired. Sat in a trap, I don't feel inspired. Uh, swear I need to change the scenery. Somewhere with a bit more greenery. Sun's out, but I still looks gloomy. I'll show you a jungle made out of concrete. With a fort, you saw an apocalypse. All you're seeing is zombies. Stood in a club with a mask, I'm not too sure. Love man now, but I wonder how long for. I'm not a believer in reincarnation. Yeah, guys, are we seated? Or are we standing? Um, why do you sit down so quickly? I feel like this mixtape, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of replay value. That's what it is because it sounded. I liked it when I was at home. Now that I'm here, it's not hitting the same. Some of the things we heard over there is that there is no replay value on the tape so far. What is your comment in response to that? That track's the hardest track I've heard so far on that tape. Hundred, hundred. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, that is the hardest. That's the hardest track. That track three and the Eurovision song are the hardest I've heard so far. Bro, he said, listen, wait, wait. He even said on the track, I was listening to it, because I don't feel you are listening. He said, the UK don't know what, what they're saying. They say I ain't got a regular fan base. And it's true, like, he's actually aware of you lot just sleeping on him. But he's big for, you know what, yeah? Let, let me, let me, let me he, said, he said something along them lines. Let me say something. I came here, not, I haven't even heard one tape on the track. I'm impressed, I can't lie. And I'm not a Central C fan. I, track on the tape, did I say it the wrong way? Cool. But as in, this track here was actually hard, like. I don't know how you lot are sleeping on it. I think so, I can't lie. This is hard. Out of what I've heard so far, this is hard. But he's spitting, he's talking like. That is a howler, that is a howler, that is a howler. The best song. Hey, 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 we're not. We're not barring my accent right now, blood. Don't do that. Don't do that. that Listen, howler. this the best song. And the, let me sit down. This the best, the best song on the album. No chance. No chance. Absolute howler. Absolute howler. Can I just say, yeah? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> Can I just say, yeah? I think we're getting a bit finagled by the eight oh eights. Sometimes we're hearing the beat and we're like, yeah, the beat's hard and that. But like. I heard that flow on track one, I heard it on track three, I heard it on track five, I heard it on track four, and I heard it on track, like, whatever track we're on, like, come on, let's be real, let's be honest. You know what, you're saying that, yeah, but I think if you, listen, you lot, be quiet, please. If you heard this track first before the other ones, the whole same problem wouldn't exist. This one is so cold, like, bro, I was listening to it thinking, this is, but I'm not even a Central C fan. I'm going to be honest and say, this was hard. It's fucking hard. So, I'm like, yo. Yo, I'm delicate when she got a wig on, I'm pulling her hair anytime she got braids. For life, my family first. I gave mum some anytime I got paid. Huh. Lucky I never got AIDS. I fucked them bro every time I got laid. Huh. I got the party, turn I don't party much. Now I never been paid. I've been through some unsettling pain. That shit had me overthinking. Uh. Then I got my head in the game. We blending well, we ain't moving bait. Why them man so loud they gave it away? We just heard no pain. You guys know the drill by now. Are we seated or we stood up for no pain? Woo! Do you know what, Miss Ola, do you know what I've noticed yet? As we get further and further through the tape, the more people are starting to sit down. Yeah. Um, why, why were you sat down for that track? Um, I think it's, it's, a, it's another filler track, man. I feel like I've heard it again from Sench, you know what I mean? And this is where I start thinking he's a one flow pony. Like, because of these kind of tracks. One flow yeah. pony, fuck. Yeah, man, I've heard it. I've heard this track already from him. Oh, I've already forgot this song. Like, yeah. I have no clue what it sounds like. I ain't gonna lie to you. You see, with me, yeah, when I when I listen to projects, I save projects. Um, I save the songs as I go along in it. 
This is one of the songs I'm not saving, innit? So. I can't lie, with no pain, it's like he plays it safe a lot. And that's what filler tracks do, you know what I mean? Just listen to the music and vibe out. Don't think too much, oh, is he lyrical? Is he this, is he that? It's, Central C is just, listen to him, just listen to man's music, you know what I mean? That's what I feel, that's what I feel about him. Peter, don't analyze man's thing too much. He's made it mad simple for you. I can dress, I can spit, and I can make gal tunes. Just leave man alone now. This is one of the songs for me that stood out from when I first listened to it from the beat and from what he's like saying on the song in it and i feel like this is very different to any other song on the project so if you want variety if you talk about beat what is actually happening in the beat the beat is cold and what he said what do you mean <laughs> hey you said earlier the instruments that's some instruments you ain't heard what instrument was that <laughs> hey, whoa. Come on. hey big man producer producer what's that beat saying i can't lie <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be totally honest. So far, I think that's one of the hardest beats. I can't even lie. Like, the production on that beat is the only reason why I'm standing. I'm gonna be honest. The production is the only reason why I'm standing. Like, the little vocal thing, the like, da cold. I think it's cold. That's the only reason why I'm standing. When we had nothing, we still made something. Send a crackhead in the store and it came out running. I bought that shit for the third of the press. You know I don't promote violence, but the young bulls wanna earn their stripes. She came to the West, no Kanye, Rihanna thing when I tell her to turn out the lights. She, wa she wanna act all night, she wouldn't be here if it weren't for the hype. No word of a lie, he talking my name in a five. You see my gram, you don't know what I'm like. Cause I don't know what I'm like. five. You see my gram, you don't know what I'm like. Could be shout out to Potion in the building. They've been supplying us with the drinks all day. Head to the description below to grab yourself some Bricelli potion. It's a very, very wavy drink. Are you stood up or are you sat down for Terminal 5? Do you know what? Like, the beat is, is good. Like, you can't lie about the beat, but I'm looking for a jig. I haven't heard a jiggy song, like, do you know what I mean? But it's a good <laughs> beat, but I can't remember any lyrics that he said. You see with that track here, that one is a flex. Man saying, when I came in the game, I never seen so many men get pushed to the side. Man, I'm not, man, I'm, man, I'm not saying that, you know. He, he's bigging up his chest, you get me? He's bigging up his chest and I respect it, so, you get me? I feel like, definitely with Terminal 5, I feel like it's a standout track because he's just talking this stuff. He's saying, yeah, like, I've come in the game and I've done what I need to do. And now I'm just, I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? So, Central's done his thing with that one, I can't lie. The bar was what? She came to the West No Kanye, so I turned off all the lights. What? 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 What did? So what was? Okay, I'm, 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 paraf I'm paraphrasing. What? Let him land. Let him land. Let him land. Say, like, these bars are not good. Like, the beats are carrying him. That, that's, that's what's happening right now. The, the Kanye bar was mid. We can move past that. But he had other lines in there that hit. The Terminal Five thing is a flex. Getting a crackhead to up the shop and then buying it off him. That's it. Happens in it. That's real life. But the beat was sick because he did like. Like, was that Young Chanks who produced that? He put like the Esky beat thing in it, like when it hit, like, and there's like a little bit of grime influence in there, but it's still drilly. And because of that, the beat was too sick. That little bit of Esky beat, cold. It's the same reason why I like Golden Boot, like by Heady, like, very clever. <laughs> When I write my rhymes, you say you don't like that line, I'll switch it. You say you don't like my line, you say you don't like my line. Switch it. Switch it. And she photogenic All right. Instagram got a lot of impressions uh -huh. She think I'm a G and I don't need love But I need some fuck affection Ish. If I fell off tomorrow Would you still love me? Man I got 21 mm. questions like In a trap with the cat's domestic She doing lashes, something cosmetic they shot their shot, she read it, they slid in the DM with something generic <laughs> She don't even like going out, got a new outfit but nowhere to wear it All right. She All think right. that I'm being disloyal when I'm in the street with a couple of killies Guys, for Obsessed With You, are we seated or are we standing? Wow. <laughs> Yo, wait, camera, can we pant a scully, please?
No, yeah, 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 yeah. The beat's, the beat's cold in that. Man will get sturdy in that. Cool, 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 cool. However, really and truly, Pink Panthers' thing came out like three weeks before, man. It's the same tune. I like, I like the Pink Panthers' thing. I like the Pink Panthers' thing. I don't like Century Verse on it. I don't want Century Verse on it. I don't want Century Verse on it. I like Pink Panthers. If they play Pink Panthers' thing, I would have just danced to Pink Panthers' thing. I don't need Century on it. That's it. This song and the way that it was promoted, obviously Kenza was in the video as well. I'm going to come to one of the ladies as well. What do you make of Central C in terms of how he markets himself towards the women, being around an influencer like Kenza, who obviously has a fan base of her own. What do you make of that kind of angle in terms of Central C stepping into that lane? I feel like it's very strategic. I feel like he knows what he's doing because... Oh, thank you. Okay. I feel like he's very strategic with it. I feel like he knows what he's doing because most of his songs, he chats horribly about women period and he knows by sweeting up Kenza that's the only reason it got bait and I always wonder if he didn't sample Pink Panthers who was viral at the time on TikTok would it even have the same numbers it had drop smike I won't do it I it. so wait are you stood up or sat down for this one I don't know where you took me to Heathrow then to Gatwick him using Kenza people were commenting that he already shot a video of it and he scrapped it to film the one with him and Kenza booed up in Paris. Why do you think that is? Because Kenza is an influencer, she has a great platform, and he saw an opportunity with that and jumped in on it. And I rate it, I do rate it, because I didn't think he's trying to get this bag, and that's fine, but be authentic with it. That one there, that was very strategic. So in a interview, Central C was like, there was actually a video made for Obsessed With You, like they actually filmed and everything, however they scrapped it. So I feel like Central C, with the strategic podcast, I <laughs> With the strategic podcast, with the strategic podcast, with the drink, it's the drink, it's the drink, it's the drink. That is a howler. With the um strategic argument, I understand, yeah, but I feel like it was very smart and fun. And also, and also, I feel like Obsessed With You, um, the Central C remix is better than the original. Um, Personally, I feel like Obsessed With You is a party tune, yeah, and it doesn't mean, we, yeah. And it's a party tune and a radio tune, and it doesn't make me want to listen to it again. It doesn't make me want to party. It doesn't make me. It doesn't make me feel anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, not telling me I'm capping because I say it doesn't make me feel anything. Explain how I'm capping. <laughs> Ten marks. Little bro, the road's ain't for you. What you wanna be when you're older? See, I wanna be a drug dealer. Go country and build a phone up. Little bro, you must be joking. <laughs> School ain't for me, I hear that, but hold it, just don't use focus. You must have a dream or something. He just shrugged his shoulders. Mum's he's broke, you know this. So I feel Are we stood up or we sat down for that last track? Let's come to Sweeney. She's been talking a lot of sense today. We'll get to you, Mimi. Okay, um Yeah, no, we, we appreciate you for coming through. Um what is it about that track that you really like? Lil Bro. A lot of people, we were having a conversation, me, Alex, uh, Scylla, Nana, we were having a conversation while that played and there was an argument that he's not the best, he's not. He's just not lyrical enough or whatever, right? But neither is Jay Huss. Neither, nah. What? Cut the cameras. Let her land and then we can cook her. I think that, um, what merits a good artist isn't always being a wordsmith. I think just like Jay Huss, Central C puts a good song together. He understands what he wants to say on a track. He understands how he wants people to feel. Sometimes it's vibey, sometimes it's introspective, sometimes it's lit, sometimes it's for the girls. But he knows what he wants and he achieves that. He achieves that outcome. And on Little Bro, he got his little bro on the track. He said some real stuff. He painted a picture. And was that not achieved? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Discography wise, I don't think like lyrical is their USP. There's people we can say like Tef, like people like KO, people like that, we can say they're a wordsmith, but I don't think this is Central C's or Jay Huss's brand. I don't know why that got so much backlash. Like you guys have to really, you have to hear what's being said. I want to talk to you PJ, you're stood up. Sorry, I'm taking your job again. Um, why have you been stood up for this track? I think this is actually the f the first time I feel like Central C is talking to someone else that's not his target audience in a way. I know obviously he's talking to Little Bro. 
He's actually trying to, he's trying to teach, he's trying to teach some, all of us through that conversation. It's not, if he said, you guys don't do this, don't do that, we would be like, okay. But he's talking to someone else, which gives you a bit of experience in that sense. And I feel like he is um, giving people a different side of him. We've heard him confessing, we've heard him talking a bit deeper on certain tracks, but I think this one is the deepest he ever gets. And whatever the conversation is, if it's his little bro, or if it's talking to himself as well, his younger self, I think that people can think about that a bit more afterwards. Uh, I probably think this is one of the best tracks on the tape. I feel like everyone's asking for something different, he gave us something different. He was uh, you know, talking to his little bro, whether it's him or his little bro. I thought it was, uh, I feel like this is what we're going to get when the album comes. Stuff, more stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I feel like when you make a mixtape before your big project, you're just giving them a taster. So it's like with um, Pot of Paper gave us Gangsteritis. This is kind of like a Gangsteritis kind of thing. But the only thing I don't like about this track is the delivery, which is, which is weird because Central C delivery is normally really, really good. But when he, sometimes when he raps, he sounds like he's like chopping boards. Like, you know, he's like, fuck your motivation. No it just sounds a bit, you know what I'm saying? For the final time, we have got to the last song on the tape. It's been a very long <laughs> session inside. It's been chaos, it's been carnage, but we've made it to the end. Guys, for the very last time, this is the song Third, End money of second, the Money second, family first. Think before you speak, say how you feel, stand on it firm. I created a lane, running a game, 100 a day, no calories burnt. Mum, you ain't got to work no more. One show's two times where you annually earn. Applied for a job they ain't hiring, so I made ties with the boss. I'm working, right outside Mumsy's house, I'm serving. Same way my bro got locked, I'm nervous. I'm Mr. J's rolling on block, it's curtain. They ain't got nothing in common. So we just heard the outro to the tape by Central C, and that was the end of the beginning. For the last time, we stood up or we sat down for that song. Um, I feel like I feel like why I sat down was because when I stood in the middle, yeah, this is just an interesting take. When I stood in the middle, I was like, oh my god, this song sounds this song sounds like Dave. And the song was like, oh, Dave produced it. So I was like, why does ev like every song every song I hear from Dave, this is a personal view by the way. Every song that's made by Okay. Every song that's made by Dave, it sounds like Dave. So I, don't, I I'm not gonna resonate with that. I wanna hear something different, innit? So and for me, that sounded like that sounded like someone else. Basically, the pianos sounded like an outro, um, but the trap bit was what, you see the end of the beginning bit, I feel like the end was the piano bit and the beginning was that little trap with it. That's what I felt. That could have gone anywhere in the tip, but yeah, that one I felt, cause that was different to Sench. And me, I like trap, I like trap. I can't really talk about his perform. I don't think his perform. he did his job in it. It wasn't anything exceptional, but the beat and the trap, the, I got difference and it got me excited, even for the end of the tip, so. Yeah, yeah, I like that one a lot still. You had a two in one. So everyone that wanted yeah. diversity, there you go. So for the very last time, this episode, for the whole the whole tape, the tape as a whole, yeah, 23 by Central C, or we stood up or we sat down for the whole tape. Personally, yeah, I think the tape I could stand up or sit down. I already told you, it's me, D. Like, he, there's ch songs that are good and there's songs that are bad. There's nothing that truly moves the needle on Central C. I think he can do better. I think he has ability beyond that. Yeah. I think, I like Little Bro because he, like he said time ago, J. Cole was an influence to him. So he did a J. Cole thing. Like, that's cool. Yeah, he said that from early. You know when he had the long hair? You know when he had the long hair? He said that from early, bro. He said that when he went to check and check. <laughs> but that's what he said that in it yeah like we're end of the beginning like and other tracks like that like terminal five i think the beat is so good like like end of the beginning i think the beat is amazing yeah i don't think sench does anything that moves me like like when i hear that beat i think raw there's bare rap like imagine cb on that imagine he one on that different different bro i like do you know what i mean you know what i feel like i hear what he's saying definitely but as a whole thing, you got you got to remember this is a mixtape. It's not an album. It's a collection of songs. At the end of the day, the best thing is excuses. <laughs> I just look at this as a collection of of songs. I don't think of it as our intro, outro, and everything. 
it's a it's literally just a collection of songs just to sort of showcase what he can do not, not necessarily showcase what he can do as an artist because that's what you want to do with an album but yeah it's just a collection of songs that i reckon people are just thinking too deep into it i would say oh one thing i like to add is i think he has amazing beat selection if anything he's got an amazing selection in terms of beats he knows what beats to choose for and he, he knows what beats to choose and he knows what purpose that they need to fulfill yeah that's all i gotta say um quick quick brief point if i'm comparing this to um wild west i can only compare it to what centers released you know what i'm saying wild west puts blows this out of the water do you know what i'm saying so i feel like in comparison to wild west yeah i'm giving this like a five out of ten maybe 5.5 5. i think it's more of a conceptual tape more than just wild west you know what i mean because like i said before he's coming off age he said he's 23 he's turning 23 he's turning into bro it's a coming of age it's a coming of age out a mixtape let's be real because he touched on themes of do you know what i mean like i feel like he touched on on themes of love he touched on themes of i'm coming out of the trap into music he touched on themes of like yo like i'm getting real money do you know what i mean and I feel like with this tape, yeah, Wild West was a 7 out of 10 for me. A strong 7 out of 10. This was a strong 7 out of 10, so he's remaining consistent. And I feel like with this, yeah, he's like, he's showing, he's growing with his fans. I feel like if he gave us mature lyrical content too soon, we wouldn't have appreciated. So I feel like the next project, that's when we see the more meant to be kind of Central C, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I think, I think what I'm hearing is that um, Central C isn't allowing people to like him that much. Right now, he's, I think he's really guarded with himself. If you see him in interviews, he doesn't really show a lot of his personality. And I think with this project, he's not showing a lot of himself. And until we get a different side of him, until he's comfortable with showing that, or if it's part of the plan, like Benet said, there's, there's a plan for everything that he does because of his team, because of the people that he employs to, to work with him. But also I think, unfortunately, this is a young man who's not, yet ready to show other sides of him. I like you. I like you. I'm admitting it. I got no ego, I got no shame. I swallow my pride and say that I'm missing it. Creeping a changing room at school and teeth from the kids that... And that was the first ever Project Sit and Stand. Amazing, amazing. We want to say a massive thank you to everyone in the room that participated, all of you at home that watched, and of course, if you want to see us rate or review another album, drop it in the comments below. I've been Basola. I've been Ore. Make sure you subscribe to Chord, leave a comment, like, and we will see you next time.